Hello everybody here on YouTube and welcome. Uh, we are drafting the Vin no, sorry, the Pro Tour Cube today. Um, I really, really, really want to take Oracle Moldaya. I think this card's just so good. Yeah, Luis is a big fan of Mooly Dooley. Plot Angel so we can play Tinker. Nah, 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 it's not Resto. Mooly Dooley's so good. Also, Mooly Dooley... I don't know. I feel like a lot of times when my opponents resolve this card against me, I can't possibly win. Like, I know it's not a card that wins on its own, but it's like, you're just so far behind once they went, like, Mooly Dooley hit two lands from their from their library, and you're like, I'm dubs. Uh, I thought I was going to do a walker step. We were talking about it, but uh, we didn't have a redemption or anything. We will, I'm sure, do stuff like that in the... We were talking about potential steps. Get that Sylvan library with Mooly Dooley. Yeah, it's really good. All right, so let's take Mooly Dooley. Uh, this is a thoroughly unimpressive turn. Or light like pack. This cube is up until Wednesday, I think. So we're going to keep drafting it while it's up. I, I think this cube wouldn't have the longest shelf life for me. Like, I think, I, I think I'm going to take Wooded Foothills also, by the way. Um, I don't think this cube has, like, the highest shelf life for me. Like, I think I would get tired of drafting it after a bit. But it's up for so little that I'm probably just going to keep jamming it until it leaves. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, ba. Yes, we three on Rototo. We crushed them. Oh, I just remembered something, chat. I just remembered something. Oh no, I punted. <laughs> there was a bounty on Twitch to stream MTGA, but I needed to claim the bounty. I, I didn't claim it in time. Which would have just been a free roll, because I was, I, you know, I, we could easily play MTGA. <laughs> but it's not available anymore. Oops. Fire Diamond? I do like stuff like this in the cube. What did the bounty get? Uh, it was like... So the bounties are different for everyone. Uh, they pay you out. They pay you out based on your like view counts and like your concurrence and stuff. But it it was like five hundred dollars basically for streaming like an hour of MTGA. So it was a total free roll. <laughs> but I punted. I didn't claim it yesterday. I just saw it and then I was like, I'm gonna do it today. And I, I was just pulling it up right now. But it's just like not there anymore. Yeah, I know. It was just a free roll, dude. It was... Would have been so good. Yeah, I punted. You had to throw a match down to maintenance. Yeah, I wonder if they'll show up again. The bounties are kind of awkward because, like, they... Ex they're like, we want you to get this many concurrence for this bounty. But... And if you don't get to that amount of concurrence, you don't... You, like, get paid a partial amount. Or you, if you don't get cert reach a certain threshold, like, you don't get paid at all. I'm going to take, I think, a Volcanic. Because Volcanic also is fetchable by Wooded Foothills, which is nice. And I, I'm not exactly sure which colors I'm going to be. But the weird thing about that is, like, not everybody gets the same view counts for, like, different games that you play. Like, my view counts for, for Magic are very different than, like, when I stream some other random game. So it's, like, the bounties are a good idea in theory. But then, like, what happens when you just, like, end up streaming the game and you don't get there? Like, that just feels pretty bad. Plankton Kabu, best creature of all time. Yeah, I kind of do think I'm going to take that. I could take that Aeon Chronicler because right now the Wooded Foothills fetches blue. But I like Plankton Kabu. It, it seems good given what we've seen in this cube. I th think... You think Steve looks good too? Yeah. Alright. So I guess if MTGA was down today, I was never going to be able to do MTGAs, huh? The other options are Dissidia, Final Fantasy, Opera, Omnia. I don't even know what that is. And Warhammer. Uh, I think just Farseek. We could Burning Tree Shaman. Whenever a player activates an ability that isn't a mana ability, Burning Tree Shaman deals one damage to that player. But that just doesn't seem very good. Why is Steve called Steve? Because uh, Sakura Tribe Elder, so S T E, so Steve. The the V part was just added in. Yeah, exactly. It's Steve, and like the closest you get to that is Steve, I think. Which Warhammer game? Total War, Total War Warhammer Two is the one that's got a bounty on it. Uh, we could take Carpalusen Forest. I don't feel like we're a wildfire deck. We're definitely not a frenzied goblin deck. 
Yeah, of course, Borderick. See, the more you know, the more you know. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take the Carpoos and Forest, I think. Wildfire Wheel Chronicler. I just really don't think we're gonna be a wildfire deck, given some of the creatures that we have. Having fun while learning, Gabby, the educational network. I like it, Rogue Predator. Uh, ooh, Arrogant Worm is kind of interesting. I bet we can get some discard outlets. Maybe maybe we won't be like as much of a ramp deck. Maybe we just need some, some madness outlets and see if we get something going there. Like, look, Earthquake now is looking kind of interesting. Not too shabby. That could be UG Madness splashing. Oh, Bouncer is a nice discard outlet. I just thought Earthquake was so good. Because I, it seems like all the creatures in this cube are so small. But yeah, I didn't actually even think about the Bouncer, so. I don't know. Now I just take Ravine and I continue being red-green. We might not be like a super ramp deck for this. and We might be more of like a control deck. <laughs> Like, I like our mana. You do think Earthquake is excellent in this cube? Yeah, I've been super impressed. I'm gonna take Wall Blossoms. These are all whatever, scroll rack to the side. So for Springs in case you wanna splash anything. Mog, this is one of PT. Mog Conscripts can't attack unless you've cast a creature spell this turn. That card looks so bad. Yeah, unfortunately not, Mateo. Sorry to crush your hopes and dreams. like that. God, I really don't like this. I, I just got an email from somebody who's like, wants me to hop on like an interview for some radio station in Canada. But but then the like next thing is like, the subject is sexism within the Twitch TV community. And like immediately it just goes into like the whole ninja thing about how he doesn't want to stream with women streamers. And it just feels like that this whatever they're doing just feels a little predatory like it just feels like they're trying to capitalize on like oh there's some action going on on twitch yeah let's talk about that shit on on yeah also they're not paying for what it's worth i'm pretty sure uh our last card is wood elves it's not hashtag get paid it's just like hashtag stir up shit for no reason i, I think i want to take infernal titan the thing is, look, this is, this is, I never talked about the ninja thing, but this is kind of my take on it. I think, um, it's, yeah, it's hashtag sensationalism, which I don't like. It's like, oh, you just wanna, you wanna have me on because then this is gonna get some people talking. Like, people wanna talk shit. I'm gonna take Courser. Yeah, 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 and they expect you to, like, jump at the chance, like, oh, I get to say my piece in this? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say my piece in this, but it's just, like, it feels predatory. Um, let's take Courser for sure. Basically, like, probably just a braid. Yeah, I think I take a braid too. Basically, like, I think Ninja's take is pretty bad. Just like the general idea of like, the message that he's sending is that women streamers are like a sexual thing or like you can't stream with like m members of the opposite sex without it turning into like a tabloid thing. But at the same time, I don't think it's fair to, like if somebody says, ooh, sex monkeys, hell yeah. I actually didn't think they were that good. Uh, I think we're still taking it though. I don't know. No, I would say sex monkeys. <laughs> if somebody says sex <laughs> If somebody tells you like, look, there's this thing I can't do in my relationship and because for whatever reason, this thing I just feel is gonna be like really, really toxic for my relationship and I, and I don't wanna put my relationship through this. That's fair, like, that's a reasonable, like, if I ever said, I wouldn't want to be judged by a different standard. If I said, I don't think my relationship can handle this thing, I'm not going to do it. What, I don't like Ninja's take because in some ways it's cowardly. It's like, you could use your big platform, your huge platform, in fact, to, like, teach your young viewers a pretty good lesson. And instead you're being like, I'm just going to shy away from it and kind of be chicken shit about it. And that feels cowardly, but it's, like, fair enough, right? But then all these other news outlets that are also like, oh, we're trying to stir up shit. Because that's how it started for him, too. He, I don't think, he never made a statement. It was like some magazine that interviewed him. He said this thing and they were like, oh, this looks like action. Punishing fire? Hell yeah. Um, I think we already saw the Grove of the Burn Willows, unfortunately. Yeah, the people who just want to, like, get, stir up, like, nonsense for no reason. Uh, by the way, if you guys have never seen this card, it's really cool. 
Hold on, I, I can't show... Basically, it's like a giant creature that counters a spell as like big as it is, kind of. I see manipulators in this format. Yeah, Grove, I believe we are not gonna get Grove. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take Icy. Icy has never been bad in like any format. Uh, it's the way he communicated. It feels disrespectful to the audience towards women streamers, towards his wife, and assume she can't handle it. Yeah. No, I mean, I like I said, I think, I think, I think his take is quite bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not defending it. But I also don't think, I think a lot of people are like, want to crucify him for it. And it's just like, you can't also do that. MTG nerd girl, welcome on in. How are you? It's, like, it's good to see you. Siege Gang Commander is pretty good. Maybe we just take Siege Gang. Yeah. Siege Gang ain't too shabby. So yeah, it, it is hard to, ooh, Roar of the Worm. Is that better than just Burst Lightning? So, so this is, this is, I think, where it gets, like, a little nuanced, Coyote. I don't think Ninja is sexist, but I think that he's perpetuating a sexist belief or, like, a sexist thought pattern. Um, might actually be Drowner. Oh, Drowner of Hope? Drowner is pretty cool. We do have the Volcanic. Honestly, I wouldn't mind taking this. I just didn't even see the picture, so to me, that card didn't exist in the pack. <laughs> Yeah, and, and so that's what's hard, right? Because it's like, that's why, I, that's, I don't like all the people, like, I don't like, as a feminist myself, I don't like people who are going out there and being like, he's sexist and he's a bigot and he's all these things. And it's like, he's not. He's just, like, I don't like his take. I hate it. I think it's stupid. But he's also not all these things you're saying he is. And I don't know. And this stupid radio station that's now like, do you want to say your shit? It's like... Fuck off. He just doesn't know what he's missing out on streaming with females because he's never streamed with someone who's awesome. Oh, thank you, Mateo. That's sweet of you. It's like, I get it. I, I understand. I understand why he doesn't want to. It's like, I also think it's, this Yavimaya Coast is very good. This Yavimaya Coast lets this player Droner. Yeah. The other thing that's hard in this situation that I think people don't consider is that like, no one is ninja. N only ninja is ninja, which sounds stupid. But it does mean that he's the only person who can properly judge what it's like to be him, what it's like to be put on tabloids, what it's like for people to make clickbaity content out of the things that he does and says. And like, it's hard for other people to be like, why aren't you doing this thing that I want you to do when it's like, I don't know, because it's their life and they get to make their own choices. Like, you just don't get to make those decisions for them. It is. It is, Ark. That's why I don't like it. it. I do feel like it's like, oh, you're in like, you're in like position of privilege. You're like... You could do this thing that I think would be a net gain for the world and you're choosing not to and it feels like it's just like, all right, you're just kind of being cowardly about it. But that doesn't make you uh, like a sexist bigot. It just means that you're you're just not helping. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Shorty. And that's why it's hard, right? It's like not fair for people to... You can't really judge his life because you just don't live his life, right? So... What's the theme of the conversation? Uh, so Vulture, basically what happened, we, I never even talked about this on stream because I was just like, I'm off everything that's going on right now. There's this, uh, the largest streamer on Twitch, his name is Ninja. He streams Fortnite. And uh, I think we just take Ether Hub. We could take Wild Slash maybe. Wild Slash has been, little creature removal has been pretty impressive in this cube. Yeah, let's just take Wild Slash. Basically, Ninja, the biggest Fortnite streamer, um, was doing an interview with a website for some other nonsense. And they asked him, because he does a lot of co-ops, he like streams with other, other male streamers. And so this was, magazine was like, oh, by the way, why don't you stream with like women streamers? Women streamers that play Fortnite. And he had a pretty medium take where he goes like, well, I don't want people to make assumptions about me and the other streamers that I stream with. And like, I love my wife and I don't want people to get the wrong impression. So... Because of that, I, I, I don't want to start rumors, basically. I don't want to stream with women streamers because I don't want to end up in tabloids. I don't want uh, clickbaity content. And I, it's not even that my wife asked me to do this, but I want to do it for her. So that's why I don't stream with women streamers. And people were like, Phew. it was just Mike Pence, 100%. Yes, it was just, it was just Mike Pence. Uh, this just went like, boom. Like people exploded, people were really mad saying like wow you're basically by saying that you're saying that like women streamers are just like the sex thing like you can't play games with a woman without people getting the wrong idea or whatever um 
And so this is Tarn or Civic Wayfinder. I kind of want to take the Civic Wayfinder. Who are we talking about? We're talking about Ninja. I think that's better than Tarn. Yeah, I'm going to take Wayfinder. Uh, doesn't sound bad at all. So, like, Vulture, I think it's, like, that's where it... This is where, like, the, the conversation, it gets kind of complicated, right? Because it's not... He isn't... He didn't outwardly say, like, I think women streamers suck. Like, he didn't say anything like that. But also... Yeah, I kind of aim for Chandra, too, actually. I do, like... I was eyeing the Celis conscripts, which I think is... Yeah, no, but I, but I am totally in for the Chandra, for sure. Chandra with no pictures... Um, we are also in the business of more things to ramp into, but we actually just got the Sylvan Library now. Of course, our crucifix is like, dude, Molly, I always miss cards all the time because I just like don't see the picture. And I don't know, I feel like humans are very visual creatures, at least I am. So when I don't see those three planeswalkers, I'm like, okay, Solemn Simulacra, Meteor Vile, Black Knight, or whatever, and <laughs> just miss the fact that there's like Liliana, Elspeth, Sor Soren in this pack. In any case, uh, yeah, so, so he didn't, like, outwardly say any of these things, but that, the implication is what's really bad and what upset a lot of people, but that's what I, that's what I, where I'm trying to say where, like, I feel like I'm not all the way on the end of just, like, wanting to crucify him for saying this thing, because it's, like, I also kind of get where he's coming from. If you, if you, I think if any person in the world ever said, hey, I can't put my relationship to this thing, I, my relationship value means a lot to me, and I, don't want to put it through this thing because I think it wouldn't survive it. Like, can you really tell them like, no, you should still go do this other thing? You can't, right? And you shouldn't expect anybody to treat you any differently like that. Like, I wouldn't want to be judged differently like that. So that's kind of where it breaks down for me. And then there's all the people who are like piggybacking off of it, which just, I don't know. It's weird that the art is really important for me to identify what cards are, but I couldn't tell you what's happening in the art for 99%. Really, Sponzi? I feel like I look at art, art the art, the... The art of the card really closely. For example, how else would you know that there's two monkeys fucking in this art of a card if you don't pay close attention to it? You just wouldn't, right? <laughs> Thick worn power stone, I think. Uh, yeah, that card is extremely vulgar. I I don't think we're actually playing it for for what it's worth. Oh yeah, there there are sexist things about it, Coyote. I just like I said, I I was mostly tilted at this radio station who's like, do you want to say your side of the story? And it's just like. Get, go away. They're making love? Yeah. They're leaving... What's what's the, the saying? Oh, okay, time out. I have been super duper impressed by Thrun. Like, somehow Thrun has just... Every time my opponents play Thrun against me, I'm like... I can't possibly win. So I think we're supposed to take Thrun now. Dude, yeah, I think Thrun is like the Poly-K of the Legacy Cube two iterations ago. Where Poly-K was actually good. Yeah, this cube does have a lot of little creatures. That's why I was excited about my earthquake. Mm. We had that oh, wingmate rock is in this cube. Man, I used to love this card. Look at the little buddy back there. Yeah, dude, I don't have a secret love for wingmate. I have a very public love for wingmate. I love that card. Yeah, that card was so dope. I opened that in limited one time. I couldn't possibly lose. Is that buddy getting into it too? I don't think as much as the monkeys though. I don't really know what to take here. We could... Aquamiba is a good discard. Maybe just Masticor, but we're probably not going to play it. I don't think. I don't know. Uh, Lanorals, Electrolyze, JM Daytone. I don't think we want Survival of the Fittest. I'm not- I- I- I really don't like that card too much. Yeah, Civic Saber won a PT, but it was a block constructed PT pernicious, so don't- don't get too excited about it being good. It was like... Craig West goes deck with Little Judges Familiar, and you put a Civic, Civic Saber on it, and it was like a 3-1 or something. I don't- I'm not- look, I'm not playing on these cards. I'm gonna take Survival for the sideboard, but I'm not playing it. I just- I think that card's really medium. Uh, Spike Feeder and Treat the Angels. I mean, we might board in the Jackal Pups against someone. Yeah, yeah, Pernicious. Maybe I should have just said just Craig Wesco one with that card and you're like, I got you, fam. Uh, yeah, 
The Crater Hellion for the sideboard is not too bad. Uh, we are not playing any of these cards, so we might as well take this Cloudfin Raptor just because he has such a near and dear spot in my heart. Love that boy to death. None of these cards. Oh man, BK... I wish BK were here to tell you the story, but... Reprisal cost BK like three Protor invites or something like that. <laughs> Over overextending into a, a reprisal. He basically, like, with Absent Charm, I think, or something, could make a creature big enough to attack, and it was just small enough to to dodge the reprisal. And then he just got impatient because he wanted to win faster, so he put a counter on it, and then the creature got reprisal, and then he just, like, lost. It was pretty rough. Uh, a Tune with Ether seems fine. Yeah, it was with Absent Charm. It was Absent Charm, and... Because what he had, you know what he had? I'm going to show you the card, and you're going to be like... Eh, that's not too bad. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, BK, why did you do that? Okay, here it is. This is the card that BK put an absent charm counter on, I think. Or like... He couldn't have, because I guess he was playing blue. But he put a counter on Prognostic Sphinx and Reprisal got him. Because even though, even though, like, you can give it Hexproof, um, you can run out of cards, and in his case, it, it, uh, it made it so that the Sphinx couldn't attack on, like, a really critical turn, and he lost on the crackback. What does Reprisal do? I'll show you. I think I took it. No, I didn't take it. Reprisal destroys target creature with power 4 or greater. It's an instant. So... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Prognostic Sphinx just dodges it barely, right? No, so sorry, Wujo. I, uh, it was an absent charm that, that he played. It was like he played something that put counters on creatures, whatever this deck was, and he put one of the counters on Prognostic Sphinx. So. Yeah, also, putting counter on Sphinx seems losing an S-plus format. Exactly, Yuka. That's the other thing. So he was like, he later was trying to break it down, and I think we're taking out the Sex Monkeys. They're really bad. I have not been impressed with that card at all. And I think we have this, and this can search for a basic land being a... Yeah, so Carpoosan Forest, Raging Ravine, uh, not Sulphur Springs, Volcanic Island is fetchable. No, this is basic, so you can't fetch it. But it is fetchable by Wooded Foothills, Yavimaya Coast, and then we play one island. I believe so, Crime Lord. I believe so. Yeah, I think if we go almost equal parts of everything. That's 18, so we cut a, one of these. Uh, so Wujo, it, it actually didn't matter. I think the problem was that at the beginning of combat, the Sphinx got reprisaled. So BK could discard a card and tap it, but then the opponent could kill him in the crackback. That was the problem. Like, he needed to have won that turn. To be honest, this looks closer to a really good draft deck than a good cube deck. Yeah, so Sponzi, that actually concerns me because I think good draft decks are not good cube decks. I think they're like, those are pretty different. Um, and, uh, but this is like, this is a pretty um, mid rangey cube. So I think it might be okay for us to be on like a slower plan or whatever. I wish we had actual ways to discard stuff like the arrogant worms that's fair molly we do have molly dooley and we have sylvan library and those cards are housed together yeah 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 yeah. it is above a normal draft deck but it's not that much better they are not playing anything that's okay nice trinch congrats that's awesome yeah i think i'm just far seeking right now Nice kitty! I love it. Uh, I think there's no reason for us to run into... We don't know what our opponent's playing, and we do know there's a goblin that destroys a land. So we could just get basic island. Because we're going to have second green and second red through this anyway. So yeah, I'm going to get island instead of volcanic. I can also get volcanic with this if I want to. Just without seeing what our opponent's doing. Okay, and now I'm a little less worried about it. Ooh, mooly dooly? And I have a fetch. Nice. 
Um, and Sakura Tribe Elder can shuffle too. Oh boy. So let's go forest. So this is interesting because I really want to wild slash this thing. I guess we don't need to wild slash it. I know. I, I kind of want to go with value too, right? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of this soon. But it's just so good. Ah, oh, now we're going to get to draw Sylvan. That's amazing. Yeah, it's basically like drawing a card. I, I really do wish we would have been able to flip a red source off the top. Like, what if Volcanic was just there? It would have gone off. Well, I'm glad we got the value. I think they were just planning on making a thing. Yeah, so now let's just go wooded foothills, get that volcanic. As long as they don't have four spike. Or not four spikes, sorry, mana type. So they're gonna make a dude? Sure. Well, now they have to deal with Inferno Tatas. They cannot deal with Inferno Tatas. God! See, I don't know why. Inferno Titan on the other side of the board is like one of the most like soul wrenching experiences, I think. Isn't it? I, I feel like every time my opponent casts Inferno Titan, I'm like, I can't possibly win. I never have an answer to it. Dude, yeah, he's, he's a beast. He is a beast. This is my favorite Titan, I think. Wait, is this my favorite Titan? I like Frosty T a lot. Mm. All right, chat. Favorite Titan. Favorite Titan. Prime time is really sweet. Ooh, everybody has a very, very varied amount of Titans that they like. I like that. I like it. I love me some Inferno Tatos too. Prime time is so good though. Why are the Titans so perfect? Why aren't they getting reprinted? Uh, let's keep this one. Teen Titans, go! Grizzlebrand. <laughs> Dude, I love Frosty, Shaketa, don't worry. Frosty gets some love from me. I think I just want to play Raging Ravine. People rioted when the Titans were in two core sets in a row. They were dominating. I guess, I will say I did not play Standard back then, so I don't know how bad it was. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to pass with a braid. Because I don't think we're going to need to attune anytime soon. We even have the blue source, so yeah. Unfortunately, I can't kill that character. Every standard had problems. Everyone complains about all standard. Like, everyone complains about the standard problems in their standard era. That's just never changed. <laughs> I bet my laundry is ready now. I should actually go get it in between the rounds. I hope this is like a mooly dooly that I can just kill. Oh my god. Jeez, we're just dead. I can see it out of respect. Yeah, I guess we're- Yo, Krim, how are you? You're coming in to watch us die. I guess I can set up an Inferno Titan turn soon. If I draw a red source, I'm game. If not, I can attune for a red source. Tolarian Academy was great for standard, was it, Northwest? Ooh, Walla Roots. <laughs> All good. Oh, man. Enchanted Land has tab create a 1-1 one, one green squirrel creature token. Red Source! That was really good. That was cash monies. So we can do it for five, right? Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna kill him all. I was wondering if I needed to attune for red so I can play Infernal Titan afterward, but whatever. Yeah, because we'll have an extra mana, Molly. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Wow, Earthquake is great in this cube. God, I think Punishing Fire is kind of bad in our deck. I think we should do something about that.
Uh, no, they might have an answer to this thing, in which case they won't scoop. But then, if even if they do, we have, like, Siege Gang Commander, which is really good. Hey, Owlbear! Welcome! That was such a fast match. It took, like, two seconds. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go switch out my laundry real quick. I will be right back. I'm gonna leave you with a BRB and an ad. BRBs! Yo, yo, yo! All right. We have clean laundry. It's pretty nice. Hey, Hers, welcome to the stream. How are you? Started downloading an update time to join and crashed my Twitch, but I am back. That, it crashed her Twitch? Those feel unrelated. Yeah, having having like a fresh load of laundry feels nice. Like when you, it's all gonna get wrinkly because I, I usually do it not on stream because I want to like fold it and put it away and stuff. But in this case, I just like wanted to get it done also. <laughs> Yo, Pichu! Thank you so much for the biddies! I appreciate that. We're back in the game. Thank you so much, Pichu. Let me get some wee. You're so generous. Thank you. Huge fan. Greetings from Mexico. Hi! Thanks. Go like have fun. Kind of feel like this hand's not really playable. I think I'm gonna mulligan it. Well, I don't really fold my laundry, Darius, as much as I do hang up a lot of my clothes. So right now, it's all just going to sit in the bin and it's going to get wrinkly, but that's fine. Yo, Garab, welcome. How are you? This hand's pretty bad. We have to scry. We ha we're both a little flooded and mana screwed. You put your fun socks with their matching sock partner. Yeah, it's funny. I think Luis has given up on that. So now he just wears mismatched socks all the time. We'll top that. Oh boy, I'm actually, I guess, kind of glad that we topped, that we have this Punishing Fire now. You said your older sister's coming in for a visit with my four nieces, nephews tomorrow, so I should look clean and respectable, I guess. That is a lot of guests. <laughs> oh no, we can't kill Kariza with Punishing Fire. That's the other alternative. I actually like having, like, um... Yeah, this is some good aggro. I like having uh, colorful socks, so. Um, did I know that Iskal is hosting me? Well, I'm not surprised. I host Iskal a lot too, but I did not he know he was hosting me right now. Now I do, now that you've told me. Ooh. I think at least Zergo forces them to commit the mana to it every time. Yeah, our opponent's kind of doing it, aren't they? Might as well do this now. Yeah, their deck is sweet. I'm surprised that their deck is not mono red, given what we've seen as a start, for sure. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a pretty buff Denison. It's been working out. Yo, Scolaris, welcome on in. How are you? Not only if they had white M19 one drop that gained them life, maybe combat tricks? Uh, yeah, I mean, there is. Okay, that's not a bad Atlanta draw. Though we are taking a million next turn again from Karizev. They're just gonna jump there. Well, one of these turns, next turn, we get to go Chandra bolt to the Karizev, which also takes care of Raghavan. And then they still have the Zergo. Yeah, it's actually working out for them well, though, Lucid. I don't know why they don't just replay it. That do that part doesn't make any sense. Because they've had the mana to... Like, they might have Searing Blood, in which case, like, this would make sense. But they've had the mana to dash and play it. Yeah, I guess if they have, like, Bolt or Char or any of that. Um, so we have to kill this. The Wooded Foothills does get Volcanic. Uh, which means that next turn we could draw her a hope if this Chandra miraculously lives, but I don't think it's gonna, because I think Zergo's gonna get in there and attack her. 
So the Chandra is going to be gain five. Gain five, kill a creature. That's not bad. Yo, old school. Welcome. Oh, it's just the same at the end of turn, not combat. Eh. Whoa, that sucked. That was a really good draw. Uh. Why, hello there, Siege Gang Commander. Where have you been all my life? I know, it's stupid, Molly. It's stupid. We wouldn't have gotten known by that before. Bloodbraid Elf? It's okay, look, I we're just gonna... Damn, son. We're gonna have to just make all these horrible blocks. Yo, Court of Calls, thank you so much for that host. Welcome on in, everyone. We've never been here before. My name is Gabby. We're playing some... This is bad. Uh, I guess we could go for like, because then even if this thing dies, it, it, like we can just drown our next turn. And we only take two damage in this scenario and we go down to four. The next turn the goblin can block something else and then the drowner can block a lot of things and we can even sack the Eldrazi. So I think this might be better. It feels super bad. Yeah, our opponent's draw was quite good this round. The funny thing is, like, it's not even that great because we can't play the Drowner, and if we do Earthquake, we do it for two, and it puts us down to two. Yeah, I also, yeah, and it just puts us to two. No, okay, so I guess we're just Wooded Foothills getting the Volcanic. Oh, that's right. They have the 4-4 in the yard. That that too. Yeah, for a lot of reasons we just gotta... That sucks, because the Earthquake, I think, was gonna be pretty good. Oh my gosh, 36 hour shifts. Good luck, Vulture. Thirty-six hour shifts, dude. That is rough. That was a really good top deck, huh? Uh, I think I have to tab Jite. I could also block with Scion and maybe like toss it to Blood Raid or something. I can certainly let it let it attack. I guess Sergo doesn't have like the best at attacks into the Drowner right now. Hmm. They're throwing it away just to get a counter on there, huh? So I guess this turn we can actually like block with Drowner and then the following turns we can use Eldrazi Scion to tap the Blood Braid when it's... Block with a 1-1s one -one, then they can't kill them. That is an option. But then they can just use it as a pump spell. It just feels like letting them get counters on this is like pretty bad. Because then they use it as plus two plus two, and then they equip this, and then my Drowner can't block it anymore. So I think the best we can do is block here, and then sack, tap this, and sack this thing. That is not a bad draw, not at all. Though I guess like Earthquake for two might be a thing now because we kill all of that and then they ba flash back the like Earthshaker Kenra but they can't even attack. Yeah, so I guess we could do like, you don't think we Quake yet? Because this is what I could do. I could go attack with a Drenner. Remember they have this Earthshaker Kenra. Oh, I guess the Kenner makes it so that I can't attack with a Drowner, huh? Can Quake kill us? Yeah, it certainly can if we do it for more than two. <laughs> Crime Lord, I think people are forgetting that there's an Earthshaker Kenra in the yard. So we can't just like willy-nilly just attack into this no reason. 
Like, we need to use... Yeah, but then we're taking two from the Zergo. Like, because this comes back, we sack a Scion, tap this thing down, Lightning Strike, the Blood Braid, and then the Zergo gets in. So no matter what happens, one of our creatures can't block, and one of them's going to get sacked anyway. So I actually kind of think we don't have attacks, which sucks. Jitte is gross. I know I gotta make headway, I just don't think we have attacks. I'm trying to figure out, like, what's gonna happen if we actually get in there with a Drowner and where that leaves us in the game, and I don't think it's very good. I don't think we have attacks. Let me play Forest. We have to go to one, because we, we take the Zergo. Can't play draw with Earthquake. <laughs> We're so far away from making that happen. So now they're probably just like flashback their Shaker Kenra. That can't be better than just playing their Kenra. Really? They are slow rolling the heck out of that Kenra. I'm gonna Earthquake soon. Let me put the Yavin Maya Coast in play. I still can't attack this turn. Next turn we're gonna have to do the same thing. Do we have life gain? We do not, unfortunately. Yeah, holding the Kenra is holding us back, to be fair. I'm not, not attacking with Drowner because of Zergo. I'm not doing it because of the Earthshaker Kenra. People are, people keep forgetting there's an Earthshaker Kenra in the yard. They hit Forest off of Abbott, sure. Yeah, I am trying to draw Inferno Titan. Inferno Titan gets us out of the situation pronto. We're like doing a pretty decent job staying alive. But we've drawn lands the last three turns. This is the turn where I believe we're supposed to Earthquake for two. Put them to one and then next turn they go Earthshaker Kenra. But then the problem is they Earthshaker Kenra and then they put a Jitte on it. Feels bad, man. All right, well, let's attack with our goblin. Yeah, this is... I mean, we were waiting for a couple turns to... Oh! Yeah, I do have course in my deck. Good point. I have Mully Dooley, too. Uh, yeah, get in there. Yeah, I forgot about Corsair. I guess we do have a little bit of life gain. Okay, can only do it for two. Yo, Sapro, how are you? Welcome on in. What format is this? We're playing the Pro Tour Cube. Okie dokie. It's time for that Earthshaker, Kenra. Do they not remember that it's there? They might not know that it's there. <gasps> Sick. Maybe they're hoping I forgot? That's pretty freaking poggers, though. Yeah, that holding that land for life gain was not too shabby. Alright, let's see it. Oh, jeez. No, they could have- they had enough to do it. They... Wow, holy crap. Yeah, now we can attack with a Drowner. The Corsair are two, actually. Right, they're... If... Yeah, we can leave Corsair back. I guess it doesn't actually change the clock at all. So let's just end with this. Oh yeah, the, the Kenra was gonna kill us. I'm not even sure that they... They might just have forgotten about the Kenra, to be honest. 
Can we kill them? Yeah, we sure can. Tres, Mr. Ducky! Thank you so much, how are you? Thank you so much for the three months. I hope you're doing fantastic. Thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, let me switch. I'm just gonna send with these two, I think. God, moments piece would be brutal. Oh, we could see, send, leave the genre back, send with these two, and then pump the Inferno Titan for two. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. I think our opponent forgot that they had the Urshaker Kenra in the yard. I don't, I don't think they were like waiting for me to forget it. I think they just like straight up just did it. It makes sense that opponent forgot about Kenra. To be honest, Chad also forgot about the Kenra. Yeah, Chad forgot about the Kenra multiple different times. Uh, yeah, we could send with just Titan and Fire Breathing. I, I guess that's better than sending with Corsair. Though, if they do anything there, we can also just like play Flame Tongue, target the Titan, and it's not gonna kill it anyway. So we'd have a four two in play. So I felt pretty safe making that attack. Uh, do we have enough red to support Reckoner? No, but you know what we are gonna bring in. Masticor. That card's pretty good against what they have going on. Arrogant Worm seems like pretty slow. Monkeys? Uh, yeah, Monkeys actually kills uh, Jute, huh? Yeah, good old Mad Masticor. I like all of our other stuff. Oh, Worm does get better with Masticor, huh? Maybe we should just be playing the Masticor, period. Yeah, I think the Reckoner is too color intensive. Uh, we actually don't want Sylvan Library against this deck. Punishing Fire is fine, I guess. Uh, we just won a game that we shouldn't have won, Louise, so that was nice. We had an opponent who had a Nurshaker Kenner in the yard, and we were like trying to play around it the entire game because we thought what they were we, they, we thought they were holding it back to. One of those turns, like, get in there and make a creature, like, under four power not be able to block or whatever. And so we had this, like, drown our hope, and we were, like, barely holding in. I might mod Comscripts against Mono R. Well, they're not Mono Red, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they needed to. Then they had. Then they got Scorch Rizaka, so they could have just like sacked the Rizaka, sacked their other creature. But they just didn't play it at all. We did not see a green card. That is fair. We still need to make a cut. Wall of Blossoms does look fine. Yeah, I think I'm. I thought about playing it, Luis, because now we have the Massacre in. But I think I'm just gonna cut it. Oh, we have Redemptions. Alrighty, let me accept that real quick. All right, see you in a few, chat. We're doing, it's three minutes, right? It's 4.43, all right. Uh, we can keep this. Oh, this hand's like really good against what they're doing too. No, Peach, you never said. Oh yeah, they had that six start last time, didn't they, huh? Okay, let's hold on for a little bit and see if we want to do indeed kill this Foundry Street Denizen. My guess is we will. Uh, sure. I guess Giant Growth is Giant- I don't even know if Giant Growth is in the format, but... Oh my god, it is in the format. God damn it. I guess that's what they're bringing green for. I got browned. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> At least, I will say this. I did get debated, but Giant Growth was going to power through our Wall of Blossoms, and now they can't do that. And then next turn we just get to play Corsair Crufix, and then Corsair Crufix is going to be on blocking duty, and presumably, hopefully, they don't have a pump spell to get through it, so... Meavy! <laughs> just Meavy! Yep. Block Reno's. Not a bad draw, not a bad draw at all. Not a bad draw on top. Not a bad draw on top. 
Coco Connor, who's in mode is that? I feel like I see it all the time. Fort One. Oh, it's just Fortnites. Mmm. Feels like they have a burn spell here, huh? I still want to block. I think we're not winning if we're not blocking here, though. I would... Yeah, Ice Coffee agrees. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do we block here or do we not block here? Because it feels like... <laughs> All right, sure. Sounds like we're blocking. Well, there it is. Okay, well, they had to two-for-one themselves in order to do that, and now we can just play Masticore. I think things are going just fine. All right, chat, you are free after a thousand years. Oh my God, Shorty, that potato's so cute. Freedom! Yeah, yeah, that's true, Molly. Ooh, ooh, they didn't like what they revealed off of Abbott, so we got there. 2040? Free goes back to lurking. Dude, I know it is. I feel like these, like, Thruns and, like, Inferno Titans and stuff are just, like, really good. You're too out the moment with Flame Tongue Cobb and Burn Spells plus blue cards. Yeah, I feel like they're actually, like, really, really good. Going for the Mythical 6-0. Oh my gosh, that is really funny, Northwest. My favorite still is the, the that Shorty's, like, potato dog thing. Ooh, you're sending a redemption now? Ooh, I do like more Hearthstone Arena with your good friend Molly. When do you want to do it? I'm going to keep it in your redemptions. I'm going to keep it in the redemptions and then I'll uh, um, cash it in once we do it. But when, when, when is good for you? Shorty, that's so cute! Hey Gabby, how are you? I'm finally done with Tess! The week before fall semester I was finally able to catch my favorite streamer for a week. I love it. That is awesome. Uh, I'm doing fantastic. I'm just having like a really nice day. It's been nice and chill and we're doing some cube drafts. We two, we three out the last one. We're actually playing for the trophy this time too. So all good in the hood. My dog. Me, why are you so mean? Why is my chat so mean? All right, guitar me. I don't have anything scheduled on Wednesday. That would be a good day. Let me, hold on. Let me look at my calendar. Before I'm like, yeah, totally snap it off. It's a perfect day. I lied. Oh, but it's actually fine. I'm doing the magic game show thing on Wednesday. So we can do it during the day, and then we can do the magic game show. Is that 6 to 8 p.m. that Wednesday? Yo, shorty! Babe dog, you're being forced to be a snake now. How do you like it? <laughs> it's Wednesday 3... Whoa, there's going to be triple content arc here drops on Moto. That's pretty sweet. But I think that's going to work out. Bev, don't look. You're a snake now. You are a snake. Thank you so much, by the way, um, Shorty, for the gifted sub. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. Look at you, look at you bringing all of the snakes to the yard. That's true, Molly. We'll see. I, I am liking the cube, but like I said, I don't love it the way I love like vintage cube. Hey, Fortnite geek, welcome. Um, Gabby, important follow-up. The game that I bought at Gen Con where you play as a corgi is highly medium on the first play. We'll report after more playtests. Unknown QED, I know I told you about the cat game, but I had the exact same experience and I'm like, wow, this game is great. I'm so excited. Um, all I know about this game is that there's cats on the picture. <laughs> and then the game was terrible. But that's really funny, Unknown, because, yes, I, I am so familiar with that life. Am I going to GP Detroit? Yes! Real Folk Blues, are you going to be there? Yeah, you got cat baited. I got cat baited. Unknown Cutie got, um, Corgi baited. Blazing Spectre off the top. They just wanted a jam. Okay, I mean, that's fine. No, 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 it's just a game where you, like, it's like a cat puzzle game. I know it sounds weird. And that's because it is weird. Uh, yeah, we might as well go mooly dooly. Try to hit. Damn it. 
Uh, play Mountain. Hope that we don't get burn spelled here. So unlike a drawing Chandra. <laughs> Chandra is quite good. Wow, the fact that this Mooly Dooley is living makes me pretty happy. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that would be awesome, real folk. Yeah, you gotta... For Detroit, you gotta start thinking of a team, because it's Team Modern. Oh, come on. Yo, beef dog, thank you. Aw, Twisty Heather's now a snake too, being forced to become a snake. <laughs> thank you so much, beef dog, for look at the love that goes and comes around. So awesome. I love it. Sachmo with a two and three, so welcome back. Who put Chandra? Somebody put Chandra in my deck. Clearly, it wasn't me. Um, yeah, snake it forward or something. Yeah, they let my oracle live, which is surprising. So... I could... Man, I could wall the courser, then play the courser and see if I hit another land off the top. That actually sounds kind of like sweet, right? I played a land already, unfortunately. That's some sweet value, yo. I do like gaining a life out of this exchange, too. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That was, yeah, feels good, man. Why not play Siege King? Because, God, do you hate value, Flamboyant? You must hate value. Yeah, we are. It's because it's just a lot of value. That That's really the only reason. Like, our opponent let... Uh, Oracle will die a live for two turns, which means we're like pretty far ahead. <laughs> Lingering Souls is fine. Still can't attack through Wall Blossoms. Yeah, we gained some life off of it. It was awesome. So, we don't really care too much about the Wild Slash on top. I am going to resolve Chandra and Bolt, probably like the app. Or actually, no, never mind, because they have spirits, huh? So, instead, new plan. We know that Wild Slash is on top. So we go, yeah, yeah, exactly, Molly. We're going to go Chandra. And then we're going to tick up, and we know that we're going to hit... Oh, damn it, I... Oh, sorry, this is Raging Ravine, not Kerplus and Forest. All right, we good. I think just the Abbot. And then they can attack with other things, too. Ooh, general help is on top is nice. I don't think I'm gonna attune with Ether given that. Your MTG Pyru son, that's awesome, Fortnite geek. Yeah, I don't want to shuffle anymore, um, but I can swing with this. Yeah, welcome on in, Fortnite geek. So I assume that your dad plays more Fortnite, and then you play a lot of, or sorry, your dad plays a lot of Magic, and you play a lot of Fortnite. That would be my assumption there. Might have been better to burn the spirit since we have the ground kind of locked up. Yeah, um, I do like clearing up, because now some of these are going to maybe start attacking Chandra, which means that we can start attacking with Mooly Dooley as well. We also have Siege Gang Commander to take care of those things, so. Funny story, he actually plays PUBG. Yeah, they're going after Chandra. Value? Any values? Any values? Meh. I mean, we could take up with Chandra, get that icy, then we can start tapping the spirits. Yeah, I don't hate casting that either. Take up. Then, and this turn I might attune. Yeah, I wanna. Ooh, look at that quake. That looks not. This is non flyers though, right? Without flying. Quake doesn't look that good against our opponent. Uh, one, two, three, four. We don't care much for that earthquake, so we can attune now. Get a green source, probably. Actually, red source to activate Siege Gang is pretty good, too. Get red source. Mmm, punishing fire is on top. So I think I actually rather just tap a spirit than play a worn power stone because I don't know how much that's helping. 
Sounds good, Beef Dog. Thanks for joining us today, and uh, and uh, we will see you soon, hopefully. They didn't flashback souls. True. Hmm. What do they have? Oh, you know what it could be? It could be the like the one that cycles. Decree of Justice. Could be Venser. Decree of Justice is cycling for three, and if you do, they can play X. If you do create X one one set soldier creature tokens, also it could be Resto as well. Resto can't kill Corsair Krufix though, so let's get in there with just Corsair. Or maybe we don't. Yeah, maybe we just tap something. Maybe we tap their black source. Upkeep. They didn't do anything? Well, they have another black source, so maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. Now they're flashing back souls. Kind of a weird sequence, all of this. It was super weird, right? Like, what else did they have that they didn't do? Unless they forgot? I mean, like, that's also a possibility. There is a possibility that they just forgot. Nah, I don't think... I think I'm just gonna add mana. And then play Siege Gang and then have a bunch of Siege Gang activations and Icy Manipulator also. Punishing Fire. Exile Diamond, see if you can hit a land to get Punishing back. I can't- Punishing is not gonna come back to me, Crime Lord. I need specifically one land. Yeah, that's opponent gaining life, not me. Any tips on drafting M19 first? IRL draft about six years. Yeah, I mean, sticking to two colors probably is just the best way to go. But green's very good. I think it's the deepest color, so I would suggest that. Uh, I'm gonna add mana. This lets us shoot two things and also tap something down. Uh, so let's send with... I could offer the Oracle for a trade, which means that our Chandra gets to live a little bit longer. Oh. They're also not gonna block, sorry, because I have a siege gang. Never mind, it's an onboard trick. Never mind. Uh, I'm not gonna tap them right now. I'm probably gonna tap a spirit. You wanna tap land? I think I'd rather tap creatures, given what they have. Someone, someone's like washing, power washing or something out there. Um, yeah, beginning of combat. Welcome back, Fortnite geek. They're all coming at Chandra. I think I'd rather set go Goblin than use Punishing Fire at the moment, so... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna use another one. Um, because there's rats in this format, Darius, yeah. Exactly, Molly knows. So it's like nice to use our goblins and then we have a spell in hand in case they go like, they did a really kind of suicidal attack right now, especially given that they're at 11 life. So if they have like languish here, we'll be pretty happy that we used up the goblins as opposed to... Chad, I made some walk for the very first D&D game tonight and it is A+. Oh my gosh, I'm so jealous, Ark. What the hell? Oh yeah, we can meet that with Drowner. We will be fine. He, he just can't attack. Also, we have Icy. We have multiple, multiple ways that they, they can't really get there. Um, are they dead? I can get in for Drowner, tap, then tap, tap. So I get in for two, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh yeah. Let me sh let me share that we have like the mana for the punishing fire and the icy. It'd be like this, this, this. So we don't have the mana for it. We're short. Yeah, we're exactly one short because now the icy can't tap. 
So, new plan, since that won't work. Uh, let's go tick up. I think we just want to use her as burn. Like, we'll decline to cast out Farseek. It doesn't really do anything. Don't cast it. Don't mem for some. Go Drowner. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Dude, Ark, I'm so jealous. I wish I were D&Ding tonight. That sounds like so much fun. And we can throw a goblin too. Um, if Fire Diamond entered the battlefield untapped, it'd be different, but I think I have to hold it up for Icy so we can Icy their Grave Titan. You think we just Icy with our mana now? <laughs> I'm getting big time by chat. Oh, come on. You know, you guys know I got a little debated for for that. <laughs> I got to Turkey. I had a team. Do we up? No, do we? Don't let the Titan attack to get more blockers. Yeah, of course we're doing it at the beginning of the combat. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I got to Turkey. Okay, the Jeturkier gets to Turkey. Is what happened there, Molly. I had a team lined up and everything, <laughs> and I have a team again, but I didn't for a period. Yeah, I was just to Turkey everywhere. Are we talking about the times we have been told no for a team? Team GP by Cammy. <laughs> yeah, who's this? Aw, Jess, thank you so much, sweetheart. I really appreciate it. If you're coming in from Jess's stream, look! So sweet. Snakes, where's our defense? Defense against the... I guess defending against the nice hearts doesn't have quite, like, the same ring to it. Welcome all, Jess. Thank you. Welcome on in, everybody. My name is Gabby. We've never been here before. Um, Jess and I used to be in the same stream team kind of like a bit ago now. We're not on the same stream team anymore, but I love her stream. And today we're just playing some Magic the Gathering. We're playing Cube. We said, aw, thank you, Jess. You're so sweet. Do snakes hug? Yeah, we can totally... Uh, we can totally hug. We can give nice hugs to the nice hearts. We are friendly snakes here. We're not mean snakes. She came at the worst time when we were all ganging up on Gabby. That's true. My, my stream was ganging up on me and being very mean. And look, there's so much love in chat now thanks to Jess. <laughs> Jess, how's your stream? How were you streaming? I saw... I actually was lurking. I didn't say hi because I, I just live the best... I live my best Merc Lurker life. But I saw you doing a cooking stream from your... Uh, I know you're living in student housing too, so like your kitchen's pretty small. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it. You were like making cake and cookies. Silence the believers, huh? Uh, targeting my Drowner of Hope and my Oracle Muli Duli. I think we're just tapping some stuff if that's the case. Because this is... Oh, it's an Eldrazi sign, so you can't tap itself. You said Guild Wars 2 and Rainbow Six Siege, and it was incredible. We had this incredible sub bombing that completely broke me with gratitude. Aww. Jess, that's so sweet. I love it. You you deserve it. Your stream is awesome. Um, No, I'm not kitchen shaming. That was, like, part of the thing. It's, the, like, part of the charm was that she was working in a small kitchen, and she totally made it work. Uh, Yeah, we're gonna doing some taparinos, right? Uh, We're tapping... Yeah, I, I do want to tap their business. Let's sack this and tap. You think I would love Siege? Yeah, so let's tap... Like, the... Spirits... I guess Zombie and Zombie, and then we can let Spirits... Yeah, 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 so we should do Zombie, Zombie. Okay. Thank you so much, Jess. You're so sweet. Zoe's gonna love it. I'm sure she's gonna love it. Zoe gifts. You're such a sweetheart. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, we still get to play lands off the top, which is nice. Oh, we can't play the second line because we don't have Molly Dooley anymore. Um. Okay, so we can. I see the tap, punishing fire to tap and send two, four, five, six, seven with Chandra, eight, nine with Goblin. All right, we actually have the kill this time. So let's tap this. Um, punishing fire this. 
talk with everyone. Yeah, Chandra single-handedly won us this game, honestly. And now we tick up, not cast it, and throw you a goblin and pow pow. Cool, are we gonna get a trophy? We're up a game. I'm so excited you're a beta partner now too. I know, I had my first day with uh, stream gifts yesterday, Jess, and it was awesome. People are just so generous. A bunch of people bought gifts. I'm waiting to get them all. I think I wanna get them all and then do a big opening on stream. Um, yeah, it was so nice. People are so sweet. You know, I, I, know, I know you know that life. It looks like your stream is super, super supportive of you too. Siege Gang did a lot of work. Apo, see ya. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Siege Gang is not good. It's great. Uh, what We saw Silence the Believers from them. We could Masticore, maybe? Do one Jokalops as a backup. Shorty, with a gift that's up to Jess. Look at Jess being forced into becoming a snake as well. <laughs> Hello, welcome, sweetie, and thank you again, Shorty, for the gift that's up. You're a sweetheart, and so are you, Jess. Thanks for bringing your community here. I really appreciate it. Grave Titan does get out of hand. We have a couple ways to deal with Grave Titan, I will say. Not included, but not limited to Icy Manipulator and Inferno Titan. Yo, Dempsey, welcome to the stream. All right, chat, are we a trophy stream? Is this gonna be a, a, a trophy stream? We were a trophy stream earlier. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, Jess got forced into becoming a snake. Yes, we are. I like the attitude. I love it, in fact. All right, I have to go meet some friends. Good luck in the last game. Get that 603 out. Thank you so much, Pichu. We are actually 5-0 right now. Oof. That is kind of annoying. Yeah, welcome, Necrotic. How you doing? Yeah, Steve is not too shabby against this. So I get to go Mountain, Steve, Block, Ragavan. And then next turn, I just get to Chandra Kill. Which is really nice. Unless they kill my Steve beforehand. I am not unhappy. We didn't see much permission from them, huh? Hello friends, I hear things are going well so far. They are, Darth. We trophied in our earlier draft, and we are fighting for the trophy right now. Yeah, if they waste removal on Steve, it's also okay. So here's an interesting question, chat. I kind of feel like we need to get Mountain here because we have the forest and then Farseek will get the island. Yeah, Molly, we're on the same wavelength. Wait, what was that? Oh, that was just for strike damage, sure. Or we can just draw the yeah, Amaya Coast. That also plays. Um, I think it's just Chandra Bolt. Uh, I don't... I hope they don't have permission. We didn't see much permission in the couple uh, last couple turns. Yeah, I think we go for it, for sure. All right. Please, resolve. Yes, perfect. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, also, now that Chandra gets to be on this board, untouched. Man. They played fourth land and nothing else? Well, then. Um, so I'm going to Mooly Dooly before activating Chandra, I think. Uh, because I kind of want to see what's on top, and then that makes us, lets us inform, like, what we do with Chandra a little bit better. So let's go Mooly Dooly. Flame Tongue Kabu on top. So I think we just mana with Chandra, and then go, like, land, land, Icy Manipulator? Yeah, yeah, Molly. Yeah, so let's go mana, land, land, Icy. God, Oracle Moldai is so good. Oracle Moldai was our first pick, and it's just been such a house. Next turn, we can play Inferno Titan. And then they can silence the believers, but we'll believe no matter what they tell us. Yep. The believers have been silenced. I mean, that means that Inferno Titan is more likely to live. I always believe in Mooly Dooly. I will always believe in him. Uh, let's tick up with Chandra, I suppose. I hit a Carpluz in Forest. You wanted mana for Farseek? I guess that's reasonable, because then we can tap with Icy. Maybe that was better. 
I want to believe. Believe. Okay, they do have a lot of removal, so I, I'm not banking on this Inferno Titan living forever. But the fact that they haven't been able to attack the Chandra, here it is. <sighs> Terror, destroy target, non artifact, and non black creature. It can't be regenerated. Oof. Well. Yeah, that too new. I like that old terror art. Also, what is going on in this picture? It's really disconcerting. Um, so let's go. We do want to tick up with Chandra. Yeah, we want to tick up with Chandra again. See if we had anything interesting. We're gonna flame tongue Kabu, don't worry. But we might as well go up because we're not using the mana. It's a dude jumping out of his skin and then the skeleton jumping out of him. Yeah, something like that. But it's just really weird. Something like that. Pew pew pew. I guess we might as well get Sylvan rolling. Is that better than Farseek? Yeah, it's gotta be. No, it's really not, Louise. Yes, it is, Molly. We're gonna get to do some nice shuffling. Uh, some spirits and flashing the spirits back. Oh, we should have boarded out Earthquake, I think. Earthquake is, like, pretty bad in our deck. Alright, let me do it. I'm so excited. This is gonna be a really sweet turn. To kid draw three. Well, it depends, Horde. We might just be able to, like, we, we kind of get to decide what... Okay, so Punishing Fire. What else is on top? Yeah, exactly. We have Chandra, so we just, like, know which cards... We know which order to put them in to cast them with Chandra. I would like to use Sylvan. I would like to play a Thrun off of the Chandra. That sounds great. So, I guess we go... Oh, actually... Time out. I want Punishing Fire so that I can, like, maybe blow them out if they try to block with Spirits. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to put this back on top. And I'm going to take four. And now I'm just going to go ahead and attack with Flame Tongue. See what they do. We might be able to blow them out with Punishing Fire. Maybe. Because I think it is worth it for them to trade some spirits for Flame Tongue. And now we just play a forest, take up with Chandra. Oh, what do you know? It's our friend Thrun. <laughs> it's a mild blow, it's hard, but it checks out. <laughs> uh, and then we can, I guess we can, we should just tap a spirit as my guess. Cause we don't have the punishing fire play next turn. I guess we could wait until the end step and then... Because what are the odds that they're going to attack my Chandra? Yeah, honestly, I'm going to wait to use my IC. I think we're really far ahead, so we have the we have the privilege. We have to check our privilege of when to use our IC. Star Wars reference, please Star Trek. Reference named person. They have two red sources though. I'm just gonna end step, tap their blue source. No, we don't have Grove, unfortunately. Punishing Fire is just a bad burn spell. We have not seen any blue yet. Um, I'm worried about like Decree of Justice, maybe. Wow, I really don't want Earthquake. I want to shuffle that away. I also don't care for Power Stone. Oh. Earthquake can kill, huh? So we hit for 8 and then enough for Earthquake? Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, because we hit him for... we had, They have one card in hand and we don't know what they have. So we hit for 8. Then, like... We can hit them for Chandra and then we Earthquake to kill them. So I'm going to put this back on top. And I guess I'll put Siege Gang back on top. Because I don't need it right now, but I might play it depending on what they do. Yeah. 
Okay, let's hit. <laughs> Why Guildy of Bonnie when we can dirtle with library? So yeah, we can go, hold on. It's not in the cube, I don't think. Hold on, I don't need to do it for, I can, I ju I can just do it for five. Hold up one for the icy or whatever. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We just, we just did this so that we could use it. Where is my... New stream deck alert! Pow, pow, pow! Yeah, how you like me now, Louise? Came up immediately. The immediate next draft. Taste it. Ellen is just saying 